Hi, welcome to Map Factory. Today we will speak about our drum filter series. This unit on my right hand side is 100 cubic meter capacity tank type drum filter. I can explain you a little bit about functions and user friendly uh, specifications. As you can see, we have four observation windows to see inside like what's going on if the filter is dirty or not, everything is running smoothly. And also if we need to make a small touch or check, we have two lids so we can access for both sides for any purpose. And this special light is giving us a better or easier visual inspection chance. And as you can see, we don't have any metal part on the unit. Here I can show you better the mesh inside. At the moment, you can see a polymer mesh with 100 micron, but it's possible to go from 10 micron to 500 micron. And also we can use different materials depending on the application need. We can go with stainless steel or we can go with duplex. And it's quite easy to change the screen if there is any damage or any other problem. You just unscrew this connection bolt sheet, the black ones, again completely plastic. Just take the new mesh and insert it. It's just like 30-40 seconds. Change all the filters. And as you can see now it's in filter mode with a PLC control. We can adjust many different modes. Now it's in continuous filtration mode. This is letting us to use all filter parameters compared to conventional filters. And we are achieving this with a very low energy consumption motor, which is only 90 watts. And during the backwash, uh, with a small control panel, its rotation becomes much faster, which it makes backwash between on the dirt level like 20 to 40 seconds. The washing frequency is much less compared to conventional drum filters. So this scenario and this small 90 watt electric motor is giving us a really low energy consumption and really low water consumption. And also tank types we have, it's, this one is a flange connection. It's possible to make a channel connection box or we can go with completely frame type. And as a usual map approach, we always go metal free, 100% recyclable and environmentally friendly materials. So now we can check the big boy, which is on my left side. This huge drum filter is capable to process 1,600 cubic meters of water per hour. Difference between two of them, this is a frame channel type. Simply, it's a plug and play unit. We take it onto the application point, we drop on inside the channel and run the unit after make the electric and uh, backwash water connections. Since the unit is much larger, we are using a different gear set here with this electrical motor, but again, the electrical consumption is very low. Here you can see our booster pump, stainless steel, because this unit is for freshwater application. Different type of pumps are available depending on the porosity with the level of the water. And here we have a priming tank to protect the pump, which makes sure there's always water inside. On the top, you can see our control panel. Again, this is uh, SCADA compatible. You can run it, you can adjust it completely on a remote location. We can check it from this side. Thanks to advanced polymers, military grade materials, they are letting us to go completely metal free. All this huge unit is completely metal free which gives us a lifetime corrosion free unit. And the trick is, you may use different size of drum filters in your facility from mud. Our trick, we are using same mesh panels for different size of drum units. This means if you have a minimum amount of safe to stock, you can use the same panel for this one or a much smaller unit, they're all safe. Simply, you unscrew this, put the new screen panel and again like the small one replacement is like 30-40 seconds. The chassis is made of GRP and here you can see our water entrance port. As I said on the previous unit it's possible to make frame or tank type. We can go with flange connection or this type of channel connection. And on top we have the completely transparent splash cover for backwash. Because the backwash water is coming with 7 bar 
to make sure all the mesh is completely clean during the backward cycle. Thanks for watching us.